Hello awesome people and welcome to Seriously Scientific. Today we are going to take a look at one of the world's most fascinating animals, a jellyfish with the scientific name Turritopsis dornai. This jellyfish has also earned the nickname of the Jellyfish. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Like all other jellyfish, Turritopsis begins its life as a tiny larva called a planula. This planula comes from a fertilized egg and swims around before settling down on the ocean floor. Once there, it develops into a small tube-like structure called a polyp. These polyps grow into colonies, and from these colonies, they eventually release free-swimming medusae. A medusa is the part of a jellyfish's life cycle that we all recognize as a jellyfish. Even when fully grown, Turritopsis is still incredibly small, only about 4.5 millimeters across, which is probably even smaller than your little fingernail. You can spot a bright red stomach in the middle of its clear jelly-like body, and around the edges of its bell, it's lined with up to 90 tiny white tentacles. But what makes this little jellyfish truly extraordinary is its survival superpower. If it's injured, or even if it's just hungry, it can do something amazing. It can revert to an earlier stage of its life cycle, transforming back into a polyp. This process is so remarkable that it looks almost like the jellyfish is becoming young again, giving it the nickname The The new polyps that form grow and release jellyfish that are clones, exact genetic copies of the original adult. Imagine failing all of your high school exams and simply being able to jump back a few grades until you eventually pass them all. Not recommended, but definitely an interesting option if available, eh? The secret behind this amazing ability is a rare biological process called transdifferentiation. This means that one type of specialized cell can transform into a completely different type of cell. Imagine if a heart cell could suddenly change into a brain cell. Well, that's the kind of transformation we're talking about here. Scientists are really interested in this process because it may be a key to important medical breakthroughs, especially in stem cell research. Stem cells are the cells we have for only a short while as an embryo, and they transform into all of the 200 different cell types that we have as an adult. By understanding how Turritopsis can recycle its own cells, researchers hope to learn how we, one day, might be able to replace damaged or diseased cells, potentially helping us repair organs and tissues as we age. But is the... Immortal really immortal? Well, not exactly. Although the jellyfish does have the incredible ability to revert to its younger form, it's not truly immortal in the way that we might like to think. The process is more like a form of asexual reproduction that happens when the jellyfish is under stress. By turning back into a polyp again and starting its life cycle over, it's kind of like getting a second or third or fourth or fifth chance. But it doesn't make the jellyfish invincible. It can still die from disease, predation or other environmental factors. However, this ability really does give us the impression that it could live forever under the right conditions, which is why it has earned the title of The Immortal Okay, well that wraps up things for this video. Thanks for watching, and please check out the description for credits and other cool links, as well as smashing that like and subscribe button for more full fact bikes coming your way. Thanks again, awesome people, and catch you soon.